Okay, assalamu alaikum. So the next one I'm going to show you, this is a, a suit that I've already stitched. Uh, you can watch one of my older videos where I've done, uh, this is the replica of the Maria B. And uh, I ordered several of these. I've sold so many of these because once the initial one went out, I had order after order. And then this final one, I've had them stitched for a wedding for uh, three girls in the family and then I've, we've matched up the mothers along with theirs and we've gone for obviously we've gone for a cheaper option because the originals are quite costly but when they're stitched right you cannot tell between the original and the replica so this one uh, although it's an original the original one in came in like a dusky pink color and I tried really really hard to try and get hold of a dusky pink I couldn't get hold of a dusky pink so we went for the peach option which is a pl slightly peachier color but I tell you this has come out absolutely absolutely gorgeous the peach is even more nicer uh, than the uh, dusky pink and I think it's going to go really well with the mother's suits so the way we had this stitched the dupattas already came with the work done so when I was leaving for Pakistan I had these stitched in Pakistan but some of the pieces are left here because um, I, will, I had too much weight problems like you always do when you go to Pakistan so the dupatta I actually just finished off when I've got back here and it only needed to be to burn out the edges of the sides so there's actually three suits that we've had done for the girls. I'm just going to go through and explain what we've done to them. Now it's uh, the fabric, um, the original fabric was silk. Now what I did was I had some raw silk dyed in the peach color and I also had quite a bit of net that we had dyed to make the uh, flary lengas and so on. So the suits have been stitched similar to what uh, I had done uh, with nice wide you know uh, really bell type of sleeves and um, the necklines with these suits already came um, with the pearl attachments I think when I did mine I did a double pearl attachment but then that's me and I also did a little bit of an attachment on the sleeves as well just focused maybe highlighted it a little bit more but even then you know the scalloping on the edges and so on is really being done really really nicely and uh, basically you can't really tell uh, original from a replica that's what I have to say. Now, in total, I've had three of these outfits done and we've had a dual thing made with them. We've had uh, trousers because a lot of the time, the girls over here, they don't tend to wear um, a lot of stuff like this. This is a grara. So we had grara stitched with these and then we also had in the raw silk, I had extra silk dyed and we had trousers made. And I remember one of the girls saying to me, Auntie, can you, can you please, please have a trouser made for me? I really like the trousers. I don't like the lingas and the granas, but it doesn't matter. You know what? I said to her, wear this on that occasion because it'll look nice. And then later on, you can just wear the trouser. So it's like a combination of four in one and the fabric. They did, my tailors and my people who were working for me, who did the dyeing and the fabric selecting, did a wonderful job in making sure that it came out absolutely perfect so that's the maria b uh, grara with a trouser and actually what my tailors did they didn't realize that i'd left the buttons at home the extra net that came with it they ended up making these scarves out of it so they've got double the scarves as well now they can wear a plain scarf with one and a fancy scarf with the other if that's what they fancy anyway that's uh, the don't know how many pieces have we got i think five pieces a five piece set it is now 